In Chapter 1, you'll get an overview of some basic GIS functions and how you can apply them to environmental scanning and opportunity analysis in business with Silver and Stones, a Santa Fe jeweler, as an example. Uh, Silver and Stones is a jewelry store in Santa Fe. They specialize in traditional uh, jewelry created by Native American craftsmen, but they also have some artists who are contemporary in the Santa Fe area. And the firm wants to understand its competitive environment a little bit more fully. Uh, and is going to try and use GIS to increase its sales both to local customers and to tourists. So the marketing problem that Silver and Stones faces is how to increase its sales by concentrating on local customers in its area and increasing sales to them to find out where they're concentrated in the area where they live and also by trying to increase sales to tourists by offering them a shuttle bus service uh, from local bed and breakfast inns, B&Bs, uh, to see if, if, if that's going to be feasible as an alternative to increase sales to tourists. We're going to use ArtView in this process by displaying some of the characteristics of the competitive environment on the map, the firm's uh, competitors and the bed and breakfast inns, by looking for concentrations of attractive customers in the Santa Fe Bay area and using some of the database functions of a GIS to help Silver and Stone determine the feasibility of the shuttle bus proposal. So, uh, in task one, the environmental scanning task, you will load and display maps using ArcGIS in the Santa Fe area. You'll adjust the symbology so that it shows important information about the bed and breakfast in the area and also the stores that compete with Silver and Stones, both jewelry and souvenir stores. And we'll also use a thematic map to display characteristics of the local population. So in that first task, mapping the competitive environment, you'll end up with a map that looks something like this. Notice on the left side you have bed and breakfasts uh, rated by size, displayed by the size in which they, uh, of, the, of the number of rooms that they have, uh, and also some competitors. In the map you make, you will distinguish between jewelry stores and souvenir shops in the display of competitors on the map. And this is what it will look like when you add the thematic mapping data for purchasing of jewelry products. Now the census tracts in the Santa Fe area are coded based on the level of jewelry purchases that they make in a year. In the second task that you have in this chapter, you will use some of these characteristics of this market area and capabilities of GIS uh, to perform tasks which will help you identify two different types of opportunities how you want to serve local customers uh, and whether you, uh, shuttle bus service is feasible for tourists in the area. So in this task you'll display a thematic map of Santa Fe much like the one you've just done but you'll try and determine where the concentrations of high jewelry purchases are in the area to determine whether it's uh, better for silver and stones to target local customers that is lo customers directly in the area around the store or customers throughout the city. Then you'll focus on the database functions to try and determine the feasibility of the shuttle bus service. So you'll produce a map that looks something like this, in which the highest purchase of jewelry per household by census tract are displayed uh, throughout the Santa Fe area. You'll notice in the table that the ones, the records that are selected represent the, the census tracts with the highest level of purchases. If those are in close proximity to the Silver and Stone store, you can use a local customer strategy. If they are spread out throughout the city, you will determine to use a broader strategy that reaches consumers or potential consumers in a variety of different areas. You will also then identify the bed and breakfast inns that are close enough to the Silver and Stone store uh, to allow them to run a shuttle bus service to the bed and breakfast and back to the store. Uh, and you will determine the number of rooms that are available in those stores. And based on your what you find out about the number of ends and the number of rooms that are available in those ends, you'll make your determination about the feasibility of the shuttle bus service for this for this firm. So these are the, the decisions that you'll make based on the ArcGIS analysis that you do, whether they should pursue strategy one or strategy two, a local customer strategy or a dispersed customer strategy to reach potential customers in the Santa Fe area and whether there are indeed enough bed and breakfast with sufficient capacity to uh, support the, the proposed shuttle bus service to serve tourists and increase sales among tourists. Uh, and that's how you use ArcGIS and the environmental scanning and opportunity analysis process at Silver and Stones Jewelry.